Hello and welcome to UAT Time within the United Countries Special by First Ukraine. You can find us on the frequencies available on our website firstua.com. I'm Sergei Velichansky. And I am Olivier Vedrin. UAT Time is dedicated to bring Ukraine and Europe closer to each other by introducing the real Ukraine to the rest of the world. Over 30,000 soldiers have been demobilized from the anti-terroristic operation zone. They all came home after being in active constant combat for several months and some even for a year. What kind of men we will have upon their return? What if our heroes become our enemies in the town we live in? What can we do to prevent this? And what can we do to turn soldiers back into loving fathers and husbands? Our guest today is Nicolas Tacussel, psychologist, head of NGO, Smile for Ukraine, volunteer from France. Welcome, welcome. Hello, welcome. thanks for guesting me. Yes, uh, thank you for joining us, actually. Uh, you're doing such an important job, uh, but before we get into it, give us a little bit of information. You came to Ukraine back in January, uh, but really moved into Ukraine in July. Uh, would you give us uh, just a little story? How did it happen? Uh, in start, I was come uh, for in uh, January, 2014. Yes, yes. And uh, for watch when, Maidan. When Maidan yes, yes, when it was Maidan, because uh, French media don't speak good about Ukrainian people, and I want to uh, watch exactly what is the situation. And uh, after I continue my work in Paris and in uh, Europe, and uh, step by step, I tried to be more in Ukraine. And in July, I decided to live here, in July uh, 2014. Okay. So, and you've been here pretty much in Ukraine and then going to Paris and yes, coming yes. back? I, I, uh, I live in Kiev, but I continue to go in Paris for my work because I have an office of consultation for uh, chairman of company and for people. Okay, so like you, conti you continue the practice yes, in yes. Paris? In, in Ukraine, I don't work. In Ukraine, I live in Ukraine. I, I uh, expend all my time with a smile for Ukraine, and uh, I go in Paris for work every 10 days for four or five days. But, but he is very modest because he's very well known in France as a psychologist for very, you know, very big boss in France, French company. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I, uh, what I've heard that you are uh, treating uh, some uh, sports <coughs> stars. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I work in uh, with uh, gymnastics because me, okay. uh, when I was young. I make a lot of uh, gymnastics and uh, help gymnasts uh, about brain, about stress. And uh, I, ha I work for um, automobile sports. Okay. Uh, I work uh, with uh, Toromachia, you know, it's uh, in Espana. And the aim uh, with the sportive is to they feel all capacity to they can have inside. And when they have stress, to they can make, take control of, of the stress. And you work for the, for the largest uh, French company? and for, for chairman of company yeah. too, because I help them, for example, about communication, I help them about management, I help them about how um, to will touch human, because the more important it's human. Okay. Before to be chairman, you are human. Before to be president, you are human. Before to be presentator, you are human. And the more important, it's human. Yes, okay. Well, as far as I, uh, you know, getting ready for this uh, meeting for, the, for our show, I kind of find out, found out that, uh, you know, one of your purposes of what you do with the uh, clients and uh, patients is uh, you want the patients to uh, find, figure out and learn how their body works and how to control their emotions, yeah, right? Yes, it's more important. If you can't control your emotion, if you can't control your body, if you understand what problem you have in your brain, you can be free. You can be free. And we have for now one life, and I think it's very important to be free in your life. Okay. You know, me, when I decided to come in Maidan, all my friend, Ukrainian friend to live in France told me to, I'm crazy to come. But I feel inside me too I can. Of course I was scared to come because it was first time to come in Ukraine. And I don't speak uh, Ukrainian or R Russian. Yes. But I feel inside me too, it's my capacity to come. Okay, well, um, it's one thing to work with, uh, on a regular basis with people that, uh, you know, like sportsmen and others, just for maybe for a hobby, for a good time, they do this. But it's totally different thing to get involved uh, with the soldiers sometime in September and October. 
you joined the yeah, uh, this project. effort. Yes. Uh, what what made you? What made you uh, jump into it? In start, I meet with a lot of psychologues in all Ukraine for understand how they work, for understand how they work with soldiers from ATO. And uh, in this uh, lot of meetings we have, I see a lot of problems they can have. The first is to, in Ukraine, psychologists, it's not good work. Mm -hmm. Because people are scary to speak with psychologues. Because in Ukraine, if you see psychologues, it's like if you are crazy in your brain, well, or it's like if you... And I'll tell you, that's, yeah. that's true. That's yeah. the overall idea that uh, if somebody hears that he started visiting a psychologist, that they think, oh, yeah, something is yeah. wrong, yeah. you know. And uh, it's why it's why me with my job, I use all about psycho leadership. It, it's a positive psychology. In my consultation, we will don't my client we will don't speak a lot of. It's me to will analyze analyze uh, how they speak. I uh, will analyze item in face. It's how you your face move. And uh, in in this, I will. I can read your emotion. And my job is to explain you why it's normal to you have this pain, why it's normal if, if you have a lot of problem. Because if you accept to see your problem, if you accept to, to understand, yes, I'm sad and I can't be sad, mm -hmm. it's very more quickly after for be good, for feel more good. The more difficult is to don't want to see the reality. If you don't want to see the reality, never, 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 see you can what? find reality. 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 Okay. Mm. okay. With, with, in French, we have a very difficult accent when we speak uh, English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I can't even speak uh, French, so je m'appelle Serge, that's all I know. So, <laughs> so yeah. the, uh, accepting the reality. Actually, in one of the interviews I, I saw, um, Nicolas did, uh, he said that accepting the reality will make Ukraine a strong country. Yes. It's very important. It's very but important. what do you mean by reality? Accepting that, yes, we are uh, in a big trouble right mm -hmm. now, right? Yes. Instead of saying, oh, it's well, but where's the difference between po uh, positive thinking and optimistic thinking? Yes, it's going to be all right. And with, and uh, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? What I yes, mean? yes. You, you can be optimist, but not realist. Realist. Okay. Uh, for realist, example, you, yes. for example, you can you can make your all nice thing positive to, oh, I will be rich, I will be rich, I will be rich. But if you make nothing for your life, never you will be rich. You can use all, all nice thing to you want. If you don't move, you will don't be rich. Okay. Positive, it's accept to see situation, mm -hmm. and don't see. Don't make all your intention in this difficult situation. Tell, mm -hmm. yes, I have this situation. Maybe it's my mistake to make this situation, but now I can find a solution. If I can, if I can make this mistake, I can find a solution. You know, it's like, it's, it's why it's very important to people understand to brain is very strong and we can very feel free. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the same, you know, in history or in politics or in job politics. When you are realistic about the problems, mm -hmm. you already did 50% of the work. Mm -hmm. This is like in mathematics. When you have the hypothesis, you have 50% of the job is done. And this is the same in psychology. Okay, okay. Well, uh, there's uh, many more things I want to know uh, about what you do with Smile for Ukraine. Actually, uh, if uh, one of the things why we do this program today is uh, we want uh, everyone who sees this somehow uh, put a hashtag and, and find all the information about these guys that, that do an awesome work. So uh, hashtag S for you or hashtag Smile for Ukraine. And also, uh, they have a very nice website. Mm -hmm. I saw that today. And please go to the website of Smile for Ukraine. You will see all the information, contact, a nice photo. And if you want to help, you are welcome. And in <laughs> Facebook, too. We yes, yes. And you but have a Facebook. But yeah, here's yeah. the thing. Hashtag, you know, either on Twitter or uh, yes, Google Twitter. or mm -hmm. Facebook, yeah, they're yeah. going to be yeah. able to find your information. That's mm -hmm. why hashtag is so universal. But let's come back. Um, you said that um, in the period of your work, uh, you've been able to um, consult uh, 60 mm -hmm. soldiers, Ukrainian soldiers. Uh, you've been able to work with 60, six zero. 
yes, uh, Ukrainian yes. soldiers. Yes. Uh, and and, and about because... three and four hundred uh, soldiers uh, got uh, psychological assistance from other yes. uh, specialists Specialist. who you yeah. helped yes. to With develop the program. Yes, yes. Okay. So why what? Why just 60? No, the question is, how long does it take? <laughs> you know, I'm French, guys. I'm alone. Uh, I have team, but it's very, very difficult for me to find volunteer for okay. free. For yes. free. Okay. Uh, because I understand to know it's crazy in Ukraine and all people want to win money. Okay. But me, I make something for Ukraine. You know, I think too, it's important to Ukrainian people helps my for Ukraine too. Yeah, plus there will be yes, no yes. language barrier and yes. stuff. But the question is, what criteria do you need? Can, can a graduate uh, uh, with a psychological, psychological uh, degree uh, join your team? Mm -hmm. Would you teach them? Yes. And they will be able to help? Yes. The aim to my for Ukraine is one of aim because we have different aim is to we give master class okay. for psychologists. Okay. And after this psychologists, psychologists can work with our method. What is our method? First, with my folk plan, we do accept we are in a war. We are in a war. Yes. And the problem is now it's like taboo. You know, no people don't want to speak about war. In European Union, they don't want to speak about war. Just they speak to its separatist or its pro-Russian people. It's not the right thing, it's war. Well, even in my introduction, I used anti-terroristic operation, but yes. in reality, it's a it's full war. war. W when you are your country and you have another country to come in your country, it's attack, it's war. Yes. And you know yes. that today we have an offensive. Today, we are an offensive in the Donbass. Today, okay. you have more and more offensive today. Well, it's, it's why a uh, lot of people um, what is the different situation between Maidan and now? In Maidan, people, they are very strong. They are like block yes. because they have nothing to lose. It's why Maidan was very, very incredible. Mm -hmm. But after Maidan, people start to be tired because they think to nothing change. But we can't change country in one year. Yes. It's not possible. Your yeah. ra last election, it was one year. I think to your president make a lot of things for try to change something, but it's only one year. Yeah. It had need to more time. And it had need to have help from European Union. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll come that back to that. But uh, seriously, uh, I want to um, underline one thing that for you, uh, first of all, domestically in Ukrainian side, <coughs> You need uh, people with psychological yes, degree. Volu yes, volunteers. Or volunteer or people to work in NGO and their interest about SMI for Ukraine program. Okay, so uh, psychological only, or maybe there could be some other degrees. Some other we have need to to psychologue, psychiatr, okay, doctor, okay, nurse, okay, because we have need to after share this information with another NGO to have need to maybe they have need to nurse and they okay. don't know nurse. And please ask for financial. Also. Yes, of course, of <laughs> course. We have need to have money for make well, program. Well, that's another uh, <laughs> issue that uh, domestically is one thing, but uh, how the West can help you? Because mm -hmm. it's true that uh, mm -hmm. everybody is afraid of the war, of the word war. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, a lot of countries, because of the politic politics, cannot uh, provide Ukraine with weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is where they can help you. What can they do? The problem is they don't use war. You know, it's like if you have different level about situation. If you speak about conflict, we will give this help. If you tell we are in war. Sure, I understand. But so right now, no one says there is no official status of war. So they can help. OK, so how can they help? Uh, the money, as I said, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so by following this hashtag, they will be able to find the information mm -hmm. on your uh, website, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, so what else? Can, uh, how? Uh, you know, yesterday we talked about that. Uh, we had a dinner together <laughs> and we talked about that. Uh, now, uh, this is the beginning, but we can find some program. We involve the Open Union to help Ukraine in, uh, for media, mm -hmm. uh, for Medicare, for uh, economy or convention, okay. we have that. That's the beginning. Okay. Okay. Uh, then we, what, we we discussed about that yesterday, and more and more now the European Union, with some other countries like Poland, like Romania, like mm -hmm. Bulgaria, they will do some 
financial aid, financial program to help Ukraine. But this is very, can I say, in European way of thinking. That's mean we have a program, for example, and now we have a program who is in Romania. The finance come from Europe, and this is to help with Romania, Moldavia, Ukraine, mm -hmm. Bulgaria, and Romania. Mm -hmm. In this program, you have psychology, media, or mm -hmm. conversion, uh, e-governance, and all that. This is not direct, but Ukraine is in the package. Okay, okay. So ba basically, uh, to sum it up, uh, everything that can be done should be done, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in the beginning, I said 30,000 men and women came back from the active combat zone. <clears throat> and now <clears throat> you've been able to help three, four hundred plus sixty, maybe, you know, five hundred total. Mm. Uh, because these men come back completely different. Yes. They, uh, I mean, no one can really imagine what they had to go through, what they had seen and what they had experienced. Uh, what uh, could you give me share share with us uh, what what uh, maybe a story or tell me how how does it happen what what is happening for us to understand we do understand about psychology of soldats soldats are in donbass they are in donbass for help ukraine but it's not only ukraine it's help family children Mother, brother, etc., etc. These soldats, when they come back, they have a lot of uh, people to speak to. It's hero, 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 and uh, they feel very good. But after, when they restart to be alone, after one week or two weeks, they start to have a lot of uh, d damage from what they live in Donbas. Okay. And in this time, they close, they close herself. And it's very, very, very dramatic because your wife see a man to go in Donbass, and when he come back, it's another man. You see your father go in Donbass, and when he come back, it's another man. Mm -hmm. And this situation can be very, very, very dramatic for a lot of family. Sometimes you can see good father to go in Donbass, he come back, he drunk mm -hmm. all the time. It start yes. to be alcoholic. <laughs> you know, I want to underline a fact. Uh, with with Nicola, we we made some friends. Uh, talk about Azerbaijan, you know, uh, this battalion from uh, Azerbaijan. And um, and one week ago, I was again with my friend from Azerbaijan, and uh, they, 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 they he said to me that okay, Olivier, we have around ten thousand soldiers who will come back from the front mm -hmm. next weeks. They will have gun. And please, Olivier, help us. And uh, I, I said that to Nicolas. Uh, el Europe mo must help us because when they will come back, if they are angry, they yeah. will go on Maidan. Yeah. That's why the job of, of Nicolas is very important. Yeah. If, if we want to face some problems, and those problems will happen mm -hmm. if we will do nothing. It's very important to help these guys to give life for Ukraine. And uh, it's very important to be proud, but not on, to be only proud like we give uh, painting for them. Who, or uh, we do help them really to restart new life. Yeah. It's very important to, re to help these guys to restart new life. Or you can build new Ukraine, it's this or that, they can't build Ukraine. Yeah. Or you can build new Ukraine and strong Ukraine if children, they are sad. They, are, they, mm -hmm. they start to don't like Russian. And uh, I think it's not good for child. Sure. It's not parent to speak bad about Russian. It's child, they understand all. Yeah. But they don't understand really all. You know, this is the same after the Second World War we, we have with the German in France because uh, everybody ha hated the German. Sure. But now my generation, we, we like the German. Yeah. And that's, that was a very, so very long years. job. Yeah. And uh, we want to may, maybe do this job more quickly with, uh, yes, uh, yes. with our It's friend. important to Well, uh, besides soldiers, um, you uh, do 
projects with uh, displaced children. Mm -hmm. The children that were uh, the refugees from the territories, yes. uh, they are in, in camps or located nearby or across the country. Uh, what do you do? We do help them to feel the more peaceful inside to possible. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very important. This child, they have a lot of traumatism. Maybe they lost parents, maybe they lost house. And you know, when you are a child, your house is very, very, a lot of symbolic. Yes. And if we don't make something help for them to explain them the reality of situation, to help them to feel to they can't be strong, it will be like bomb, the child. Yes. Because if, for example, one, last time I see one child, father lost, uh, father uh, died in Donbass. This child hates Russia. Mm -hmm. But it's not Russia. Yeah. It's not Russia. It's one man in Russia, not only one man, but the system. The system. Yes, Russia. And yeah, it's very system. important for the child to understand the war, to understand why my father died. And it's very important to understand how my government helped me too. Mm -hmm. Because my father died for my country. And if we want to child have patriotic to the like Ukraine, to the speak Ukrainian, it's very important to, to help them. Yes. M sometimes when I speak with people, they are shocked. They are shocked about but it's vision we have in the European Union, you know? Mm -hmm. When I see how in Europe we make a, a rehabilitation program for soldats, and when I see how you make in Ukraine, it's very, very different. Yeah, we have a lot of programs in, in the French army from, for our troops. Uh, when they go abroad, like in Africa, in Mali, for example, they come back, but they have a big, big psychological assistant, big, big. They, they, they have one week, or they go in nice place, to rest. After that, they have psychological assistance, their family also. We really take care of our soldiers in the French Army. Yeah. And that's what uh, Ukraine needs. And, and, and we have need to work with the uh, mm. Ministry of Defense. Because... Uh, you, you do? Not for now, but it's very important. We do, we do work together. Yes, of course. It's very because important. Because that's how you travel. But your job is very you important, travel. Nicola, because uh, in the history, we know after a war between two people, we need one or two generations to forget and to yeah. come back to friend, friendly relationship. Yeah. Then if we want to do that quickly, we have to do the work, psychological assistance now. U U Ukrainian people, they are pacifists. They yes. are not like uh, yes. attack or something mm -hmm. like this. It's why it's very sad what you have in your country now. And it's why it's very, very important to make good and serious program. Mm -hmm. for, yes. for example, see, the re after, uh, after the First World War, we have the Second World War, and not more than one generation. That means during one generation, German thinks they hated the French, and they go back to the, and that's why the Second World War. We want to avoid that. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Ukraine has always been peaceful. Yes. Even after the Soviet Union broke down, there has n there has not been any major conflict on our territory, mm -hmm. and no reason for that because I mean Ukraine has always been multi language language, multicultural, multi national uh, nationals uh, lived here, and we've always welcomed everybody, mm -hmm. you know. And now the legend, the myth, is that supposedly, you know, some Ukrainians started suddenly overnight hate mm -hmm. uh, the russians yes you know it's why ukraine to be strong and free it's very important to she be independent okay more she will be independent and strong more she will can build good place in european union and be free it's very important for business for your economy for tourism is all these two and for the people or for <laughs> the people of course because it will have repercussion on uh, this. Mm. Well, uh, time has flown by and we are pretty much at the end, you know? Um, uh, well, first of all, I want to, <laughs> one more time, uh, stay this, <laughs> yes. Uh, these guys need all kinds of assistance because they do what needs to be done. Actually, yes, in the beginning, we needed to <clears throat> arm our army, but now the time 
goes and the, the problems are much wider yeah. than just arming the army yeah. because we want to have those uh, boys come back and be uh, normal. Well, thank you. Honestly, thank you for Mr. doing yeah. this and for being with us. It is possible to be victorious on the battlefield but lose the war if one can't restore their country. All types of rehab assistance is a need number one for our Ukraine. It was United Country UAT time by First Ukraine. Thanks for joining us for a cup of tea. Olivier Vedrin and Sergei Velichansky were working for you in the studio. Stay with us and we will show to you the real Ukraine. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.